and girls, howdy. How are you guys today? Today I am joined by Mrs. Sawyer and also Peter Rabbit. They've made friends now. <laughs> yes, we remember what it was like last week whenever we heard Mrs. Sawyer making a scene that she does sometimes. She's just kind of cranky. But today she's in a good mood. Wow. And so is Peter Rabbit. Yes, you hear them making those noises? Beautiful little animal noises. Today I'm reading two books. I'm reading Where is Peter Rabbit? Spoiler, he's right there! <laughs> and I'm also reading Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. When one rabbit isn't enough, you get three! Yes, indeed you do. So, let's go ahead and start with Where is Peter Rabbit? So this is one of those lift the flap books. So this is one of those cool books that, that it's going to ask you questions and we'll see if we can answer them. So here it is. Where is Peter Rabbit? Don't make a sound. Be quiet. Is that Peter by the blackberry bush? He's not here, it's Flopsy! <laughs> Splish, splash, drift and float. Is Peter fishing on the lily pond? What do you think? What do you think? Let's see. Let's see. Are you ready? Are you ready? Bah! He's not here. It's Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Check him out. He's a pretty classy frog. As far as frogs go, if I had a frog, I think I would dress him up in a little suit just like that. There's something cool about a frog wearing a suit. Also, something cool about a frog on a bicycle, too. I think I would dress my frog up in a little suit and teach him how to ride a bicycle. Naughty rabbit, he's hard to catch. Is that Peter in the lettuce patch? Look at all these mice, they're hanging out in the lettuce patch. Look, there's even a bird there. Do you think he's behind there? Let's see, let's see. Are you ready? Ready, ready? No, you're not ready yet. There you are, there we go. He's not here. It's Benjamin Bunny. Yeah, looks like he's eating down on some lettuce there. And I think he's got some uh, some onions, too. I don't think I would want to eat a raw onion. But I'm not a rabbit. What do you think? Yeah, he likes them. Where is that rabbit? Have you guessed? Have you guessed yet? Is Peter sleeping in this nest? Maybe he's in there taking a nap. Let's see, let's see. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> he's not here. It's Jemima Puddle Ducks. There she is, chilling with some ducks. Look at her bonnet. It's pretty fancy. Wonder how she puts it on. Pitter patter. Who can you see? It's Peter. Is Peter hiding behind the tree? Let's see. Is Peter hiding there? Let's see. There he is. Come along, Peter. It's time for tea. Yep, his mama's making some tea. Yeah. Check him out. He's always wearing that coat. Look, he's wearing a fancy coat over here today, too. Cool. Yeah, I like these lift the, lift the flap books. And I like that frog. <laughs> cool. So, speaking of cool things, I have a rabbit craft. Peggy made this one. It's pretty cool. So what it is, is she took two pieces of paper and she took them and she folded them up in a really skinny, long piece. 
and then she fanned them out and then she attached them together right here so whenever she fanned them out you still could still see the folds in them that's why it looks like this kind of like a little accordion and then she very creatively made a face for the bunny so these are just two circles and here's just another circle that's been um, colored pink and then she made some feet she made some ears and look at this one i like the fact this ear is kind of bent i think that makes it look better what do you think yeah i think it's pretty cool so next time we it will be the last story time before easter so we will be reading a special easter book we'll be reading a bear stained bears book Yes, this is the Bear Stain Bears Easter Parade. Yes, all of your old friends are back. We get to see Mama Bear and Papa Bear. We get to see Sister Bear and we get to see my, fra my favorite, Brother Bear. Brother Bear is always funny. I like him. I think I'm kind of like Brother Bear. I have a sister. Yes. So, join me next time. And now, we... We'll read Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. Yes, indeed you do. Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit by Lorna Scobie. Check out the cover. Look at the rabbit. This rabbit's happy to see him. This rabbit's happy to see him. I don't think he's happy to see them, though. He's like... <laughs> and the inside of it, it's just this kind of orangey color. Yeah, and it's been very exciting. But the orangey does kind of match the orange of this rabbit, so I can see where they got it. And look. What do you see there? Yeah, look at that tail. What sort of tail is that? What animal do you think has a tail like that? What animal is orange? has a long tail with just a little bit of white on it. Hmm, is it a dog? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. There's our rabbit. I am the only child in my family. And that's the way I like it. Mm-hmm. There he is, chilling. Got a half-eaten carrot over there. The fox next door. Yes, you guessed it. It is a fox. The fox next door says she likes having rabbits around. The more the merrier, she says. But I can't see why. <laughs> I like this picture. If you look real close, I, the rabbit is going. He's doing like the, the, the big uh, the big eyebrow there. Like, I can't see why. <laughs> I like having everything to myself. My flower. Yes, indeed you do. My carrots! <laughs> mm-hmm. My stretching area! All mine. My bedroom! All mine. But... My parents have some news. Suddenly, I'm no longer the only child. Bam! Right there, out of nowhere. But it's a cute little bunny, isn't it? <laughs> I no longer have everything all to myself. Destroying my flower! eating my carrot 
mapping in my, yes, my stretching area. Even in my bedroom. I have to establish some rules. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it. Your side and my side. All mine. This works pretty well. Da da da. Until my parents have more news. No. <laughs> There they are, hopping along. All of a sudden, we got some more bunnies. And more! And more! Too many bunnies! What's gonna happen to all my stuff? Too many bunnies, look! Not very happy. Something has to be done! <laughs> Look at all these bunnies! <laughs> Billions of bunnies! Too many bunnies! <laughs> Did you notice these little bunnies over here, they're sticking out their tongues at each other. <laughs> That's really smart. That's really funny. <laughs> there they are! Then, I remembered, mm -hmm. then I remembered the fox. Would you look after these bunnies? <laughs> Gladly. <laughs> oh no. So what do you think is going to happen? What do, you, do, do you think the fox wants to be friends with the bunnies? Or do you think the fox wants to eat the bunnies? Hmm. We'll just have to wait and find. What do y'all think? Oh. Miss Sawyer says she refuses to tell you what she thinks. <laughs> That's how she is. She's taking the cheater's way out. <laughs> okay. So all the bunnies go. Yes! Alone at last. It's just me! Just me and all this space. Just me. Mm -hmm. Back to the way it used to be. Poor dude. Just me. So. I go next door. Would you like to come in too? The more the merrier. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, then I guess. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Look at all the eyes. What do you think's gonna happen? What do you think's gonna happen, Peter Rabbit? Would you go in? <sighs> Peter Rabbit would go in. He's a brave dude. He always goes in everywhere that you're not supposed to go. And much to my surprise! It was fantastic! Look, they're having a party! It's amazing! Look, there's party hats, there's dancing, there's little funny things you go, whoo, whoo, with. there's all sorts of cool stuff happening. There's a disco globe, there's all the carrots you can eat. It's amazing, it's fantastic! 
bet you didn't see that coming. Yeah! Look! So he's so happy. Like, <laughs> and look! This rabbit's all, thank you, Mr. Fox! Just <laughs> hugging his tail. It's like, you know, that dude really did want to be friends. <laughs> yes! And that is the end! <laughs> You know, sometimes you can find a friend in the most unlikely of places. Like, look at Mrs. Sawyer. You remember back when Mrs. Sawyer wasn't friends with Peter Rabbit? And now they're friends. Now they get along great. Maybe you can find yourself a friend one day that's not quite the friend that you thought. It's good to be friends with people, in particular people who are different than you. Mrs. Sawyer and Peter Rabbit are different. Peter has really long ears, and Miss Sawyer has really short ears. Yeah, they're very different, but they're friends. Cool, so join me and Mrs. Sawyer and Peter Rabbit next time, and I will be reading some Bear St. Bears. Yes, indeedy do. Cool, thank you very much for joining me today, and I'll see you guys next time. And until then, just keep reading. Bye. Bye-bye.